excited, you know, uh, everybody, guys, is ready, and, um, you know, it's, it's here now, so no looking back. Looking forward, the Warriors on their way to the Big Easy as we speak. Well, they will take on Georgia in the New Year's Day Sugar Bowl. Good evening and Merry Christmas, everybody. Just over 45 minutes ago, the Warriors charter plane took off destined for New Orleans. We are now one week out and counting until the big game. KCHNL News 8's Jason Tang live at the airport where the team enjoyed a first class send off this afternoon. Dash, as the team was boarding the flight today, of course they were given a traditional lay, but they were also given some of these Mardi Gras beats here for good luck. Very nice gesture by the folks from Hawaiian Airlines. Now at about 3.30 this afternoon, the team arrived at the airport, and you can see how excited they were to finally get going. Remember, it's been almost a whole month since their invitation to the BCS party, and today being Christmas, players and coaches couldn't think of a better group of people to celebrate with. Oh, it's good. I mean, uh, everybody's excited just to be together again, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun when we get up there. It's just going to be all fun. And, yeah. What you going to do for the big long flight? Uh, I got about like a couple games like PSP and stuff, and uh, a lot of guys we all have PSP, so we challenge each other Madden. Uh, now, hopefully that PSP skills will translate to success in the Superdome, but the entire team wasn't on today's flight either. Players such as Colt Brennan and Devon Bess were already on the mainland with their families. They'll meet up with the team in the Big Easy. But there is one member of the coaching staff who is especially excited to be going to the Sugar Bowl. He's a graduate assistant. He's in a wheelchair, but that doesn't mean he can't contribute. KHNL News 8's Beth Hillier is live in the newsroom with more. Well, Brian Kajiyama doesn't usually travel with the team due in part to his special needs and cerebral palsy. But tonight he is on his way to the Sugar Bowl and no one in the University of Hawaii football program was about to leave Brian behind. Brian Kajiyama and his family are packed and ready for the trip of a lifetime. Sure. Lots of warrior pride in their suitcases. He volunteered with the football team for eight years and this past year, Coach Jones brought him on as a graduate assistant. Basically, I do everything that the coaches don't want to do, so that includes helping breaking down game film of the opponent's offensive game, and I also help scout the other team to try and give the coaches that extra edge to help our players be able to perform at their highest level come game time. He speaks through his keyboard and explains he never traveled with the team before. He stayed back and prepared for the next game. But since there will be no next game, everyone felt that I should be a part of this special experience because a team never leaves anyone behind. So I'm very excited to be making my first road trip with a team today. He's an insider with a prediction. I'm confident in our players that they will be ready to step it up when the bright lights come on in the Superdome. We joke about hitting Bourbon Street and celebrating the win. Maybe after we win, I'll partake in a hurricane. But Brian is all business. It's his job to help the Warriors win the Sugar Bowl. And he concludes this is about the best Christmas ever. Now, despite the obstacles he faces, Brian Kajiyama graduated this summer with a master's degree in counseling, and he just completed his first semester of his doctorate program in special education. Reporting live, Beth Hillier, Cage, Now News 8. Uh, what a great story, Beth. Thank you very much. With the Warriors leaving, there was the last showing of support for the home team. Cage, Now News 8's Paul Drews also live at the airport this evening with more on the big event and the big send-off for the team in green. Well, Howard, for those players, they do have a lot on their minds. But one thing they don't have to wonder about is just how much support is behind them. And that was again shown at today's send-off. At the airport, from their arrival, complete with flashing lights from a sheriff's escort to last lay gifts, the Warriors head to New Orleans with their game plan, their bags, and the hopes of Hawaii. In fact, these Hawaiian airline workers volunteered to come in on Christmas Day just to play a small role in this great season. We've got lots of volunteers who come out on Christmas Day to be part of this. So, not just a privilege, but an absolute honor to be a part of this once-in-a-lifetime event. The Warriors plane, dubbed the Warriors Express, is just one of three charter flights for Hawaiian Airlines. They also are taking plane loads of fans to New Orleans and back starting on the 28th and 29th. Those flights are dubbed the Sugar Bowl Express. And to show the players support, Hawaiian Airlines volunteers not only gave them those Mardi Gras beads, but also gave them these Hawaii rally towels as they got on board the plane. Reporting live at the airport, Paul Drews, KHNL News 8.
And for those of you staying behind here in the islands during Sugar Bowl week, we are set to bring all the color and excitement of New Orleans right here home to you. Jason Tang and I will have live reports from New Orleans beginning Thursday. We leave tomorrow. So Thursday the 27th, look for live reports on the news here at 6, 9, and 10 p.m. And then we'll air a one-hour Sugar Bowl preview on K5 at 7. After the game, stay with us as we broadcast a live post-game on our show, also on our sister station, K5, the home team. Good evening and Merry Christmas. I'm Lisa Kubota. Kim and Keahi have the night off. Tonight, the UH Warriors are in the air and about halfway through their flight to New Orleans. The team is traveling to the biggest football game in the school's history, and at the airport, fans wish them sweet success in the Sugar Bowl. KGB9 Sabrina Hall is here with tonight's top story. Sabrina? Yeah, Lisa, some players, including Colt Brennan, left days ago to visit their families on the mainland, but about 100 other players boarded a plane today and in the process made some Christmas wishes come true. With music, media, and dozens of Warrior football players headed to New Orleans, Gate 60 at Honolulu International Airport was the place to be. The vibe, if you will, around the airport is just incredible. I think um, people are absolutely rallying the team. And some fans took the opportunity to get a shirt full of autographs. I was here for senior night, and um, with all the mayhem, we didn't get a chance to get any signatures that night. So this was like our reward for being patient, I guess, with everything. As the team boarded their chartered plane stamped with the UH emblem, the Hawaiian Airlines crew sent them off with Lay and Mardi Gras beans. Happy trip. Happy trip. Some players say going to the Sugar Bowl is the best Christmas present ever. And the associate athletic director says he's having a pretty good holiday, too. Did you get anything for Christmas? You know what? I uh, finally got that G.I. Joe set I've been wanting since I was about 12 years old. So I, I'm just in hog heaven right now. I was up all night uh, playing Secrets of the Mummy's Tomb. Wide receiver Ryan Grice Mullen was taking his gifts on board. I got some headphones, some Bose headphones, and uh, uh, um, air cancellation. So cancel out the sounds. So I hope I can sleep good on a plane. And as their plane headed for the skies and Christmas Day came to a close, you couldn't help but wonder what the new year will bring Hawaii's favorite football team. And the Warriors will arrive in New Orleans just after 5 a.m. Central Time, and their opponents, the Georgia Bulldogs, will also be landing in Louisiana tomorrow. The big game is New Year's Day. Sabrina Hall, KGMB 9 News. one of the lucky ones headed to New Orleans to watch the big game, there are two New Year's Eve parties you should know about. You can celebrate with Coach June Jones at the Cajun Warriors Bash at Generations Hall in the historic New Orleans Warehouse District. Pre-sale tickets are $125 for adults, $65 for children over 10, or you can head to the Sugar Mill Party, also in the Warehouse District. Some of the entertainers scheduled to perform include Willie Kay and Augie T. Tickets are $49 in advance, $59 at the door. For more on how to buy tickets, go to KGMB9.com and search for Sugar Bowl parties. Time is running out to buy UH's remaining Sugar Bowl tickets. They'll be sold starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow at the Stan Sheriff Center box office. There's a maximum of six tickets per person, and all buyers must have a Hawaii driver's license with them. There will be no phone or online orders. KGB 9 sports team is headed to New Orleans. Liz Chun, Steve Uehara, and Mike Cherry are catching a plane tonight and will begin bringing you live coverage from the Big Easy starting Thursday. And a little later in this newscast, Liz and Mike will break down the top warrior moments of 2007. And now from Hawaii's severe weather station, Malika Dudley's first forecast. Merry Christmas. Well, for you Warriors, Warrior fans headed to the Sugar Bowl, bring a good winter jacket and an umbrella. You can expect the chance for rain to increase throughout the week and with a 50% chance of thunderstorms overnight. Lows are running between 40 and 57 degrees. It's still far out, but for now, it looks like the sun will be shining for the big game. For